Across various forums and social media, a number of people appear a little confused regarding the force and army lists in the new Kings of War historical rulebook. So we thought we would try to clear some of the issues up. The rules are designed to cover a number of eras across a fairly substantial swathe of history. But the master list makes army selection pretty simple. Just look up the type of generic warrior and equipment choices for your figures, add any options and then pay the points to recruit a unit or units of that type in either a troop of 10 men, a regiment of 20 figures, a horde of 40 or in some cases a legion of 60 miniatures. This includes infantry, cavalry, generals and generic support weapons. Once you have the basic troop types, you can theme your army using one of the thematic lists. So, if you want to field a Roman army, you turn to the relevant pages. Pick out your units and add them to your force list. Of course, you have to consider which period in Roman history you want to represent, early or late Republican or Imperial. But the system created by Mantic encourages you to do a little research and decide what suits you. It is a flexible system rather than prescriptive. Although using some actual historical research is actively encouraged. There are many diverse theme lists within the book, so there should be something for everyone. And the fact they all match up points wise gives the game a touch of the WRG systems of old. There we have it. A simple force creation system and some deceptively simple rules combined to allow both new and veteran gamers to rapidly design an army list and get on with some gaming. Okay, so having picked my uh, Roman force, I've gone for late Romans, and this is late Romans versus Saxons. So here's a quick look at how the melee combat works. First of all, the late Roman spearmen, chosen from the master list, are going to charge in against these Saxon warriors. Nice, simple almost like a step forward charge, really. So once you're in melee combat, what you do is you roll. Now this is two troops versus each other, two troops of 10 men each. So I need 10 dice for the Romans. I take my 10 dice and I need fours upwards to actually hurt them. So that's four hits against the Saxons. Then what happens is you roll the defense of the unit you're attacking. So in this case, the Saxons have got fours up to defend. That's because they've got their shields and they're quite good at defending. So they've managed to save one of those. That leaves three hits. And what you do in this game, rather than remove the casualties, you put down a number of casualty markers. What you then do is see if these uh, Saxons are going to be running away from what's happened to them. So you roll two dice and you add the number of casualties to it. So in that case, that's a six, which takes us to nine. So on this occasion, the Saxons will be pushed back one inch, but they won't run away. And that is pretty much melee combat.